Hello and welcome to Raspberry Crafts, my YouTube channel where I share all my crafty adventures. Today is December the 21st and the 20th and 21st day of Vlogmas. My name is Roz and I live in Lake Country, British Columbia, Canada with my husband and my two kids who are 12 and 11. Uh, and that's right, I did not record anything yesterday. I recorded the kids opening their advents and Mike opening his and I think Taylor opened mine from yesterday because I definitely have opened them, but I didn't record anything. <laughs> so you're just gonna get double today and nothing from yesterday. So some days that's just how it goes. Um, yeah, I think I was just, I was really tired. I, I didn't sleep well the night before, so I got a better sleep last night. Um, it is still a work day today. I'm currently on my lunch break and taking advantage of the beautiful sunshine that's outside that you can't see right now, but um, it is minus 24. Feels like minus 31. <laughs> Somehow at lunchtime today, I have the house to myself, even though everyone is off of everything, but I keep futzing with my hair. Sorry guys, not gonna touch my hair. Um, anyway, Mike and the kids are out for lunch and a walk with some friends, so I'm home alone at lunch, so I thought I'll eat my lunch and if there's time I will do a recording. So here we are, recording. Um, what do I want to talk about? Okay, I'm going to start with my advents because they're right in front of me. <laughs> so first up is the Fireweed Fiber Co. Ooh. Can you see, oh, it's not really showing up, that minty, minty green. There we go, it's better. And that light, light pink, like there's, there's white and then there's green. Yeah, oh, so good. I Like honestly, how does she do that? And then there's these like dark purple speckles on it. And it, like they're just so crisp and clean and Let's see what else we got, ooh. We got some peppermint tea. I love a good peppermint tea. Next up is Northbound Knitting. Do, do, do. Oh, goodness. That is, that is dark. Like a, like a charcoal. Like that is, that is dark, dark, dark. So beautiful though. Like the very variation you can see. It's lovely. Okay. And our Firefly notes are on the last row. And it is a cassette tape. There. <laughs> it's shiny. Um, and it says Firefly notes mixtape. That's cute. <laughs> oh dear. So that is Super fun. Okay, one, two, three. We're on to my swap from Tracy. Oh. Ooh. It's a little bag. Get the note out. Here are some twill labels for putting on your handmade crafts. Oh my goodness. Are they all the same? Oh my gosh, they're all different. So it says stitched with love. That one says authentic, crafted with care. Those are so nice and there's repeats. Oh, and then there's 100% handmade. Those are lovely. I don't have any of those and this will be perfect when I gift my mother-in-law her sweater and uh, she'll know which is the back and which is the front if I put a little tag on it. Anyway, those are so super sweet. Excellent. Okay, well, that is it for my advents for today. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about what I've been knitting. I have been working a lot on my mother-in-law's sweater. This is the Love Note by Tin Can Knits. And um, it's just, it's, it's on a tiny needle, so you really can't see it, but I have finished all of the lace 
and I'm working on the raglan increases um, and then we're pretty close to splitting for the sleeves. So this is the top, um, but you pick up stitches and then knit the neckline afterwards. Um, it's not gonna be as high as this, it will definitely, and now I bump the mic again. Uh, it's definitely gonna be lower than this sweater, but um, yeah, so you knit a few rounds of one by one ribbing just to kind of bring it all in together. And uh, yeah, so making some good progress on that. So pretty. So pretty. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> I think the last time I talked to you guys, I was talking about how I was so close to finishing Taylor's shawl, and I don't think I actually showed the finished edging. Now it's super rolling because it has not been washed yet, but decided to do a Pico bind off. I just started from where I was. I did not do any more rows. Um, and that was definitely the right choice because as we go along and I even got a little pico right at the center So it's gonna block out super nice All the way to the end all the picos right to the end and That that is all that I had left. Is that perfect or what? So anyway, she's she loves it. She's tried it on. I definitely need to wash it um, and pin it out it is 100% acrylic, um, so I will be putting it in the washing machine and then I will be um, spinning all the water out of it in the washing machine and then I will lay it flat to dry so that it dries in the shape that I want it. Um, and the other thing you can do um, is do a bit of steam blocking on it. Just make sure you put a tea towel or a towel towel, bath towel over top in between the iron and the acrylic or you will melt it. So those are those things. So are those things, and I've been working on Mike's socks, but they're downstairs. So I'm not gonna show them to you right now. <laughs> and um, yeah, those are all the things that I've been working on. And I don't know what else, there's not much else going on for today. It's a work day, so I'm working. I'm just looking around the house to see if that's gonna spark anything, but no, no. It's pretty boring around here. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go back to work and uh, make myself some tea first. Tea is important. And uh, we will talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.